cooking up some peach whiskey chicken for my own personal cowboy. Whoa there. You may not have seen the Pioneer Woman on TV, but you might recognize her many, many products out there. From flower dishes to colorful cooking utensils found at your local Walmart, you can see some of them here. She has created several cookbooks over the years, all about cooking on the ranch for her family and her handsome cowboy. For this review, we decided to cook from her book, Food from My Frontier, published in 2012. All of her cookbooks are beautiful, literally. She uses bright colors, careful organizations, and photos to create a beautiful collection of delicious recipes. Each step in each recipe has a picture next to it of what it's supposed to look like at that given moment. Today, we will embark on a journey to the frontier. Well, the grocery and liquor store will suffice for now, and we'll attempt to create peach whiskey chicken. I'm making what the way my mother taught me to make mashed potatoes. Heating the oven to 300 degrees. And then I'm going to do whatever the heck she says to do. Olive oil and butter. That's a tablespoon thing. Two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of olive oil. We use classic. From Walmart. Start this up all around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cook. Twelve. Twelve. Three. Four. We'll do five at a time. No, we do six other times. Okay. Takes about five minutes to cook them on all sides. Oh, this is very greasy. Ah! It's getting grease everywhere. Grease everywhere. In my hair. In my hair. Grease everywhere. Ooh, I can't turn this down. It's popping. And it ain't popping bottles. When you're chopping these onions, your eyes can get a little watery, so you stick your head in the freezer. That's just my thing. That is my thing. Oh, that is strong. That is strong, I say. Part of it. Going everywhere. Let's start with a little bit. This is very. Let's turn it down. I'm nervous. And just a little bit more alcohol. Lemon on the uh, alcohol. Yeah. Okay. No whiskey consumed at the filming of this location. Do you believe me? Mm -hmm. One. Now we're stirring in the bar, I'm stirring in the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, about a bottle of barbecue sauce, 32 ounces, four cups, if you need a measure. Then you do peach preserves, Worcester sauce, two tablespoons, one cup of peach preserves, and then we're gonna the chicken here. To, and we're gonna add it soon, don't worry. Whoa, our whiskey's gonna overflow. Oh God, have mercy on us, Jesus. I don't think it's all gonna fit in there. I need to take out some of. What we need to do is let it reduce. Like 
distribution. It might reduce more. Cover it in peaches. Cover it in peaches. It's so gorgeous. It really is. I don't know if we can even fit all the peaches. I was just saying. Let me do this. All right, babe. The key to making potatoes taste good is to try them every time you add something. So right now we're adding salt and pepper and I'm gonna spin it with the, do a roll with the mixer. See if it works. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna taste test it. I did more salt this time. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say. Sir, what do you think of the peach whiskey chicken? Well, I think it's very good. I find that the meat is very tender. And I think you did an excellent job putting it together. I think that cookbook is kind of challenging to follow in some areas. Yeah, with it all is. the whole it is. Um, everything out of order a little bit. Yep. Um, but I think you did a great job. You had more quantity than you thought you had, but you still adjusted. And also the mashed potatoes, which were not part of this recipe, were fantastic. They taste like puffy clouds, like cotton candy made of potatoes that uh, you eat yourself. So uh, definitely, um, I would eat this again. I will eat this again because uh, we sure made a whole lot of it. So, so what'd you think? First of all, I found the pictures in the book, it actually makes it a whole lot easier because every step of the way there's a picture. So all you have to do is refer to it to know what it should look like. Make fun to go shopping for it this morning and I had fun. So would you make like another one of her recipes again? Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. I had to drain the potatoes. Good luck to you. Damn.